Yo, hi guys, it's Inam here. So I've recently had Sky Q fitted and it looks a little bit like this. As you can see, the Sky Q box, it's the full one, it's not the mini one, is just lying on the floor because there's no mounting screws to put it anywhere and ideally I'd like it behind the TV. Now, I've had a look around online and they do a mount for the SkyQ mini box, but not the full sized one. I've moved the TV around. So as you can see, it's mounted on this wall bracket here and it pivots out on this arm, which is pretty cool. But the TV itself is curved. So hopefully you can see that there, which means I don't have a real flat spot across the back of the TV. Now I was gonna use Velcro because Velcro is very strong and just put a very thick piece twice across the SkyQ box. I was gonna put it there and there and then just push it onto the back of the tv here but as it's curved not ideally the best thing in the world to do but the sky q box is exactly the length of this little gap here firstly i was going to just place it on the back of the tv like that but because it's curved it kind of rocks a little bit and i think it would fall off velcro is strong but i don't think it's good against a curved back at all so luckily the sky q box is exactly the length of the gap between the two brackets here so I think if I can get some cable ties and hold it in place it's perfectly sized and the rubber feet fit in between the indentation here which is also really really good so these are the longest cable ties I've got so uh, but unfortunately even one of these isn't long enough so I'm going to use two at a time here so I'll just plug this in to the one side it should click in like so i've got a really really long one then that's what she said so i've got the sky q box here and we're going to position the cable tie where it needs to go and then push it through the gap as well the first one at least and then slide in sky q box now get it to rest where i want it to be there we go right in between that gap and the rubber feet are within the bracket there so that's awesome got the other end of the cable tie pull it through and it's a little bit stiff there we go and i can just get that there we go that's pretty tight on there and I'll just get the other cable tight and do the same thing again over on this side. Just push it through and grab it the other side. That's pretty tight there as well. So we'll get that going in between the power cable. I'm not I'm gonna make sure I don't double over the pivoting arm here because that needs to be free and we'll just get that going through there as well and there we go so there can be a little bit of movement it doesn't really matter because it's not going to fall out of these arms and that's in between the rubber feet there as well just make sure that's tight that's tight as well finally we we'll just cut off the excess cable and we'll do the same this side as well i've removed the sky q cables completely here just to give you a better idea of what's been done as you can see the sky q box is right here mounted between the one arm and the other arm holding up the tv so it's not going to slide out or anything like that and even when you move it around it's not going anywhere there is a little gap between the sky q box and the tv so the tv doesn't really get hot but if you are worried about heat then that's not really an issue there is a hard drive on the sky q box just here but there's grills either side and you can kind of see where they are just there and there's because there's a gap that should be enough for ventilation and yeah so you can see the one cable tie holding that together there and the other one here between the satellite cable and the power cable so that kind of wedges it in and that's not going anywhere so that's pretty cool i'll just cable it back up looking at it now it looks a lot cleaner no sky q box on the floor no dangling wires to it it looks 
just like the TVs hovering in midair because you can't even see the arm mounted to the wall. Absolutely gorgeous. And if you're wondering if the remote still works, yes, it does because the remote is Bluetooth. So if I come out, there you go. Works absolutely fine. No issues at all. Volume works. Everything works as expected, but looking a hell of a lot cleaner. Now, if you're like me and your kids watch YouTube or anything else on your TV and you want to see if the sky box is actually on just by looking at the LED Well, obviously you won't be able to do that But that's how easily I mounted my sky Q box onto the back of my flat screen TV or curved screen TV Using just cable ties. If you're new hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day And I'll see you next time